hi there welcome to my channel today dd for deacon here if you're new please make sure that you're subscribed and that your notification bell is turned on for whenever i post a video and hey to my returning subscribers thank you so much for tuning back in today always grateful always happy and i feel so lucky to have you guys with me firstly i wanted to say that you guys know i like to just go to the good stuff i stick with the good stuff so this video is no skincare beauty influencer mumbo jumbo it is exactly what it is and in this video today i'm going to be discussing one product one skincare product that everyone when i mean everyone i mean skin type skin tone gender race everything everyone needs this skincare product firstly before we get into the video today i wanted to say a quick thank you to ali pearl for sending me this hair and yes i've done a video on it already but this is just me appreciating them again because i really really love this hair as you can see it's sitting beautiful looking pretty and i absolutely love it and the quality if you're looking to buy a solid beautiful wig for the summer then look no more this is it and you're welcome in advance so now what is this skincare product that everyone needs that is sunscreen and hey don't go anywhere don't be deceived to feel like you know what I'm talking about in this video today stick with me stick to the end we have a lot to unpack and a lot to learn but I'm going to keep it as short as simple as possible now let's answer a few questions who needs sunscreen everyone under the Sun needs sunscreen every human existent under the sun needs sunscreen needs spf now we know we have different skin types different skin tones now which skin type or what skin types and tones need to use sunscreen like i said go back to the first answer everyone every skin tone every skin type under the sun needs sunscreen so now why do we need sunscreen we need sunscreen to protect us from the harmful rays of the sun which leads us to the next question what does the sun do to us what does the sun do to our skin as much as the sun is our friend it comes out and we have a bright and lovely day to so our skin it's more of a foe than friend and what that means is that the ultraviolet rays from the sun is damaging to our skin which could lead to skin cancer discoloration and also premature aging amongst other things we've answered some questions now but let's go over to a popular question do black people or darker skin tone need sunscreen since it is said that our skin or the melanin in our skin generally protects us from the harmful rays of the sun so do we need sunscreen i'm going to answer that real quick with facts the first emergence of sunscreen ever was in egypt egypt in africa now that would mean that sunscreen originated from africa right wow it was a wild moment for me when i found out this so now if sunscreen is not for darker skin tone people then why did sunscreen originate from the darker race culture right and this even dates back to 4000 to 500 bc which would mean that was such a long time ago before sunscreen became popular recently that shows us that dark skin people found the need to protect themselves from the harmful rays of the sun i'd like to add that in ancient egypt they were in love with fair skin tone so sunscreen was a way of preserving their fair skin tone because they were dark skin but like the fair dark skin people like, like the light skin black skin i mean in the african race i'm sure you know what i mean they were originally in love with like fairer skin tone so they found ways to preserve their skin tone because they realized that the sun was causing their skin to change color was giving them hyperpigmentation discoloration on their skin so they found a way to preserve their fairness and that was what brought about sunscreen let me even tell you that in the evolution theory it is said that darker skin tone came from lighter skin being um, exposed to sunlight so it was basically lighter skin tone being sunburnt right um, by the sun that brought about darker skin tones like the race the dark race which is such a very weird concept to even think about I mean conspiracy theory but we're not getting into that right now if you follow the story that I've told you closely this would mean that even right from time people knew that the sun 
was capable of discoloring your skin was capable of causing a burn to your skin all right now for the egyptians the ancient ingredients that they used to make sunscreen to preserve their fur skin tone was rice bran extract um, jasmine and lupine or lupine extract and now around 800 to 500 bc the greeks started using olive oil and sand to protect their skin against the harmful rays of the sun and later an indian medical practitioner emphasis on indian here and if you remember old india you would know that they had darker skin tone there's even like black indians i'm sure you know that right so yeah this indian medical practitioner discovered the use of pushpanjan i guess that's what it's called or that's how it's pronounced which is modern day zinc oxide being used in sunscreen so if you date back you find out that sunscreen originally originated from people of color so that even cancels the argument if black people or people of color need sunscreen at all now if you weren't using sunscreen before in your skincare routine in your beauty regimen what happens when you start using sunscreen because there's a study somewhere that links um, sunscreen to skin bleaching and I'm going to tear that apart for you um, now okay when you're consistent with your skincare routine and then using sunscreen consistently to protect that routine that you've just done in the skin what you begin to realize is that your skin might start to change color not because you are bleaching your skin but now because you're protecting your skin against what causes discoloration while you're treating it so the sun is one of the biggest and highest culprit of hyperpigmentation and discoloration on the skin yes the melanin on our skin is to protect us against this but it is not enough to do that it is not enough to rely on the melanin on our skin to protect us from the harmful rays of the sun and that is where sunscreen comes in so like i said you notice that your skin begins to look a lot brighter sometimes your complexion can even change and what this would mean if you were darker and then you start becoming lighter would mean that your original complexion is now showing for when you use sunscreen your melanin doesn't feel the need to pop up to the surface of the skin to protect you from the harmful rays of the sun thereby changing your skin color thereby causing hyperpigmentation because what happens is that this melanin production becomes prominent in certain areas and that's how we end up with um, dark patches hyperpigmentation you know dark spots and all of these things that we complain about so when you include sunscreen in your skincare regimen you realize that you might tend to start experiencing some sort of fairness in your natural skin tone so it's not going to be like a bleaching thing it's going to be your skin being what it is supposed to be in the first place i'm going to use this analogy um, to explain this right for example um in nigeria where i come from the northern belt is a lot hotter than the rest regions in nigeria and if you know this you would agree with me the people from that region are usually very dark skin and this is not necessarily because they are darker skin people it's just their constant exposure to that kind of hot sun and you know in those areas you know that people don't really talk about sunscreen people don't even care they don't even know what it is so they are just you know living their life under the sun freestyling you know popping out in and out without sunscreen so you see that they have darker skin tone see sudan as well sudan is a very hot country almost all year round i'm not sure what the percentage is as to you know when the weather is hot and when the weather is cold if there's any cold weather but what i do know is that people from sudan are also very dark skin because it is a very hot region as well now i'm not saying that this is the reason why northerners are dark skin they are originally like dark skin people but i'm just talking about the intensity of the darkness on their skin all right now you might want to mention the fulanese which are like a small minority in the area this has to do their skin complexion or their skin color has to do a lot more with their race where they come from originally than you know anything else environmental factors okay because sometimes fulanese you know tend to be light skin so you might want to argue that because they live in the north as well but you know they are a different race to like you know like the um northerners that you, you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to mix my words or I don't want to call or say wrongly, but you do know what I'm talking about. Now, let me compare myself as well when I had just traveled recently to Nigeria to visit and I traveled when the weather was cold here and it was very hot in Nigeria. When I came back, I was using sunscreen in Nigeria, but when I came back, my skin tone had changed because I was a lot more exposed to sun than I was here, right? So I had to come do my skincare and, you know, get myself looking bright again. So this just goes to show how 
harmful the sun can be you're not just causing skin cancer wrinkles but giving you another skin tone entirely that is not originally yours so your whole life if you're not using sunscreen you're literally living with a skin identity that probably isn't yours but we are going to unpack this in another video now let's talk about the types of sunscreen that we have we have physical sunscreen also known as mineral sunscreen and we have chemical sunscreen physical and mineral sunscreens are said to be the safer zone to stick with in skincare um, as chemical sunscreen contains some chemical that can be damaging to your skin or in the long run that can still cause skin cancer so you see we are trying to protect ourselves from skin cancer Cancer, but then we can still get skin cancer by using the wrong type of protection put that in mind there's a lot to unpack when it has to do with skincare now that will lead us to the side effects of sunscreens right now the side effects are more prominent in like chemical sunscreen because of the chemicals that could be present in that sunscreen there's something called something benzo something ozone and all of them ozone zone zone things um ingredients ozone sounding ingredient like the end of the you know because these ingredients are like a mouthful yeah but then those in that category are capable of causing skin cancer in the long run so you want to stay with um, you know options or sunscreen options that do not have those ingredients in them I'm going to list them somewhere on the screen so you get to see what I'm talking about so now since this product is so important what are the things to consider when buying sunscreen you have to consider that it is a broad spectrum sunscreen meaning that it will protect you from UVA and UVB rays now UVA and UVB rays are the type of ultraviolet rays that come from the Sun that is damaging to our skin so you want to make sure that you get a broad spectrum sunscreen that has both protection from uva and uvb another thing you want to consider is buying um, spf 30 and above anything lower could be time wasting so just consider anything 30 50 70 and i think i've seen 100 and higher so yeah consider that when you are buying your sunscreen just to make sure that you have a little bit of time before you would need to reapply and your skin is properly protected another thing you want to consider is that the sunscreen is water resistant if possible this would help to protect against external water and also sweat as well if you get to sweat because obviously it's like hot and you can get to sweat when you're outside so now what type of sunscreen do I need to go for is it the chemical or the physical or the mineral sunscreen however it is now you want to make sure you go for something that works with your skin there's a lot of sunscreen physical and mineral sunscreen because they tend to stay on the surface of the skin they don't absorb into the skin that is how it protects you um, against the Sun um, this sunscreen sometimes can come with like a cast because of the ingredients used in making it um, the cast could be like a white cast or something but these days brands have become so genius in making sunscreen so we are almost not facing this anymore but yeah the sunscreen that works for you is the one you put on your skin and you see that it is compatible for your skin type and also your skin color as well that is the sunscreen that you need to go for so now how much sunscreen do we need to apply on our body face and body now for the face you would need about half a teaspoon and half a teaspoon would be two fingers long of sunscreen and for the body you would need an ounce and an ounce would be um, the size of a shot right the size of a shot glass right you want to make sure that the sunscreen that you apply to your entire body is that size okay because anything less than that you are wasting your time and we know that what is worth doing is worth doing well so make sure you use the appropriate amount on your skin if you want to reap its benefit now what days should you wear sunscreen rainy days sunny days normal days days where you're staying indoors days where you're doing nothing you should be wearing sunscreen that is because there's a lot of ways that ultraviolet rays get to us and now it could be through the lighting in your house even if you're not going out out. and it could also be through the window maybe the Sun you know hitting you through the window the ultraviolet rays through the window even when you are inside your house so for every single day we need sunscreen for our skin whether the weather is cloudy you're not seeing no Sun just know that as long as it is daytime there is Sun so you want to keep your skin protected from the UV rays of that Sun so before we end this video I would like to say that sunscreen is so powerful in skincare in that if you are not using it, it is all the change that you need so if you're using all of these products if you're buying all these skincare products and you're not investing a lot more in sunscreen then you're doing something absolutely wrong now let me use this analogy to explain what um, not using sunscreen in your skincare regimen is right now think of it as um, basically 
basically instead of getting your door knob in place instead of getting a good door lock um, to lock your door properly you then go out to buy weapons knives and whatever to protect yourself so the more logical thing you would have done would have been actually protecting yourself properly by getting a proper door lock and or see it as the sunscreen and then see you going out to buy these all um weapons to protect yourself as buying skincare it might not be necessary to your condition your skin condition or your skin need and then you're bringing them in to protect yourself when fixing the door knob could have done a bulk of the job so i know that this might look a little bit more oh why are you taking it that far that's because that's exactly what it is all right so yeah moving forward let's do better please invest in good sunscreen if you want me to do a new recommendation you know dedicated recommendation video for sunscreens you know that you need to look at or recommendations just let me know i'm going to film it again i already have some recommendations on this channel but i know that we have a lot of new products now and you want to know your career so yeah let me know in the comment section and i'll film that for you as you can see in this video i'm not talking about no particular product so you don't even think it's a sponsored video or anything it is basically a healthy awareness video sunscreen is so important I had seen a video online I think it was a TikTok as to where a country was it Japan or an European country I'm not sure but they had like this sunscreen dispenser around the city i was like this is so beautiful this is i don't even know if it was a brand that sponsored that as a pr move but that was so innovative because yes we need that especially in africa where the weather is so hot where the sun is so damaging i promise you that some of the things that we are experiencing is as a result of the ultraviolet rays now i'm not saying that your family or emotional problems comes from the ultraviolet rays but you get what i'm talking about yeah that's about it for this video thank you so much for watching i do hope that this video is able to impact a change in your life your thought process about doing healthy and better things for your skin as that's what I am here for on this channel I'm here to bridge the gap between dangerous practices and safe skin practices and this is one of it for us thank you so much for watching this video today and as usual I wish you a beautiful luscious and perfect skin and I will see you in my next one Mwah.